today five of our heavily discounted cruise from Australia to New Zealand. We have woken up somewhere in the Tasman Sea and today is a full sea day and we're going to show you what that's like as well as give you a tour of our inside room. We've made it kind of cute because it's a bit glum in there if I'm honest. <laughs> so we find it quite difficult to wake up in the morning. But one thing that's really helped is we come up to the Spinnaker Lounge, make a little cheeky iced coffee and read our books. We're also quite slow morning people, which means we like to do that before we run to breakfast. Going straight to breakfast is just, can't do it. for as many meals as we can. So we normally start here with breakfast and I think like probably 90% Thank you. I think like 90% of the other guests on board would agree that the ultimate goal is to get a seat by one of the three beautiful massive arched windows at the back of the boat. And it finally happened. We have the best view from here. You just see all the waves crashing from the boat in the background. It's a pretty great spot for breakfast. Sounds pretty fun. Apparently we're spending all our time in the Spinnaker Lounge. We just got us some bingo tickets. Bingo, bingo, bingo. How much was it? Bingo tickets weren't cheap. So this is probably the only time we're gonna do this. So not a true representation of a regular sea day for us, but for the video. Happy about it? <laughs> Second chance. We need this to be B10. B3. $60, not well spent. But if we had won, I would have said it was very well spent. So you win some, you lose some. But we can come back tomorrow. Maybe we'll get another cruise. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. This is uh, Captain Stefan from the bridge. I hope you're enjoying this uh, day at sea. Even though we don't see any sun today, it's a little bit windy, rainy. And, uh, also, we have some uh, swell. But that's how it is in uh, Tasman Sea. Because if there's anything it's famous for, I guess it's for its weather. I was going to say, it's usually about this time that we come to the deck and try and get some sort of sunshine, but it's pretty windy. And the swell is crazy. events in the pool. All our timings are slightly off today because of the one hour time change, so it's time for lunch. The restaurant literally closes in like half an hour. Only for two? Yes. Thank you. I know we're in windows again, the same place we were for breakfast, but the menus change so much between breakfast, lunch and dinner and they actually change between the days as well. There's like a section of the menu that remains the same all the time, but most of it is different every single day. So you never really know what you're gonna get. All of the food on board is amazing and we have made a deal with each other that we try and eat salad first where we can just to make sure we're getting something healthy throughout the day because my main course is a cheeseburger. We've also kind of decided that we prefer sit down meals rather than going to the buffet. We haven't been there for a single meal thus far and I don't think we're going to. It just feels so much fancier like this is included. Why wouldn't you be here? 
here enjoying these views and getting a multiple course meal. We may dangerously be getting used to this white tablecloth service because it cannot continue. <laughs> To work off our second huge meal of the day, we like to do two laps of the promenade, which is about a kilometer, I think, of walking, just to get ourselves moving because we're not going to the gym because it is packed. about this time that we sit down and do a little bit of work but we're gonna do a little bit of a room tour first. We are room 6091 and before we go in to show you everything there's one cool feature out here and it is this. An easy flippable do not disturb make up my room side. As soon as you walk into our room we have a pretty decent sized closet on this side which we have unpacked all of our clothes into. We have a lovely little like makeup area slash desk this actually turns on. Such nice lighting for you to do your makeup with. This is a drawer that opens up, so we've filled that up with storage as well. There is also a tiny little chair. Ooh, I guess this would be good for putting on and off your shoes, but it feels a bit pointless. We also have a TV and a lovely piece of artwork. And of course, the main thing in the bedroom is a big, giant, cozy bed. I believe this is actually two singles bumped up together. And we technically have a third bed up here on the wall. I would bring it down to show you, but I'm nervous about doing that and not being able to get it put back up again. So we're just gonna use our imagination. Both of us have a little bedside table area, including reading lights and a USB each. And to make the room extra cozy, we have added our own little fairy lights. I thought this would just make the inside room feel a bit nicer because we get no natural light in here and it's kind of hard to wake up in the morning. But having these, we can turn them on and it kind of eases us into the day in a nice way. Because this is an American ship, the outlets in here are American and we didn't bring converters. We just honestly didn't even think about it. Luckily, there is four USB outlets total, one which is a fast charge. So we've been able to keep both laptops, both phones, my watch, all of the camera stuff charged up, no problem, into the bathroom. Ta-da! Considering we're on a cruise ship right now and we are the cheapest room possible, this is way bigger than I expected it to be. The shower is huge and gets really, really hot. The pressure is also amazing. We also have a sink area. Again, heaps of storage for all your personal belongings and a toilet. Now we come to my first gripe. <laughs> I don't know if this is like self-imposed because my expectations were maybe too high, but I believe that Norwegian was quite the top tier of the cruise line companies and we have single ply toilet paper. It's really not that big deal, it's quite nice single ply toilet paper, it just seems nuts to me. Imagine if you checked into the Shangri-La and you had single ply toilet paper. That's where my headspace was at. It's surprisingly good for an internal room. I think so long as you come in with the headspace that you will have no natural light in here and you'll have to spend 90% of your time out of your room, you're gonna be golden. It would be great to have a port window, even better to have a balcony. They do actually have a channel on the TV that is a view of the deck outside. So you can still get the outside vibe, but it's not quite as nice as like a proper virtual window. We like to spend a lot of our day outside of the room, but right now we have to get some work done and it's easier to just do it in here. This is what working looks like. Emily working and me doing nothing. <laughs> Classic. There is no Wi-Fi on board that's reasonably priced. One day is 30 American dollars for one single device. What a joke. So my jobs become quite limited. We've put in about three hours of work or so. It's time for dinner. Let's get some fresh air first. Okay. Oh, she feels bumpy. She is still very bumpy. Mm. Every day, our daily itinerary for the next day and any information is stored right next to our door. And this little thing is why today has gone so quickly. It's another time change. There's a two and a half hour difference between Australia and New Zealand, so they're giving us an hour per day. <laughs> Easing us into it. Something to look forward to. Up. The unfortunate thing in here is that there's no windows to sit by, but all that noise 
is because there's teppanyaki just across the way and it seems like it's very popular tonight. Silk is one of the only other free options here and the only one with like an Asian flair. The menu doesn't change like Windows changes every day, but they've got pretty good stuff. Do you want to trade one fried for one steam? Yeah. Food on board so far has fallen somewhere between okay and good. That beef was pretty good. Had a really, really nice sauce with a little bit of spice to it and a bit of orange to it, but I don't think the actual cut of the beef was super high quality. I don't know, <laughs> trying to keep it real. Decided to make ourselves a nice chamomile tea out on the back deck. This is the adults only area, so it's always a bit quieter out here. It is nuts how much the waves are rolling. You can really see it in the pool because it's like slooshing over one side, then going over to the next. Walking around is definitely getting harder. Going up and downstairs is harder because one step will be really easy and then the next one you're like, ah. <laughs> But next on the agenda is one of the shows. We've made a deal with each other that we can't miss the performances from the onboard cast, like the ensemble stuff. So they had one on Christmas and they have one tonight that we're going to. Howdy, welcome to the Stardust Theater. Like all fine establishments, we have some rules. No shoes, no shirts, no problem. Cell phones and cameras, turn them off. It distracts the performers and scares the horses. So belly up to our bar and get- That was a full day, completely at sea on the Norwegian Spirit. Let's not end it like that. Let's just talk about how the um, show was. The show was good. 